Hi, Tam here. <laughs> now, if you have been in a hospital in the last six weeks, especially you know in the um, in the emergency department, the ER, the emergency room, the A and E, the accident and emergency, the casualties, the trauma unit, whatever the name in the country where you are, right? You might have noticed that doctors and nurses are wearing masks and goggles, you know, when attending to patients. And you might be wondering, but why? I can understand the mask, you know, in this COVID-19 pandemic, but why are people wearing goggles? And maybe not so much now, because now half the world is under lockdown, but just a few weeks ago, you know, you would go to airports and you would see some people wearing goggles and masks. <laughs> well, you know, it's, um, it's actually very smart to do that, you know. And the reason why, you know, you, you're seeing a lot of people with masks and goggles or because, you know, everything is closed now uh, due to the lockdown, so, you know, people have glasses on or anything, some kind of eye protection. And the reason people do that is because when somebody speaks to you, just like, just as I am speaking to you, you know. So when somebody speaks to you at a, at a one meter distance, more or less, even though it's normal speech, but still, you know, if you put your hand in front of your, of your mouth, you can still feel the air reaching your hand. Meaning that when, when people speak to each other, there is invisible droplets going from the speaker's mouth to your face. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, almost everywhere in the world now, people are talking about physical distancing, social distancing, you know, a distance of six feet to two meters. Because it is believed that these droplets will not really propagate beyond two meters. It stays suspended in the air, but at least it doesn't continue moving. At least that's the theory, right? It doesn't continue moving forward for more than two meters, right? So, what I'm saying is that when you're wearing a mask, you're protecting the open mucosa of your body, right? So the open mucosa, the mucosa of your body, the lips, right? The mouth, the oropharynx, you know, um, and the nose. You want to protect your mouth and your nose, but especially your nose, right? Because you're breathing in and out. As you breathe in, those droplets, those virus filled droplets, are going, those aerosolized um, particles, are, you're going to inhale them directly into your, your respiratory tract. And that's why you're wearing a mask to prevent that. One, you're protecting yourself against the virus. And of course, two, you're protecting others against yourself. Because when you speak, droplets are coming out of your mouth. But now, the eyes, I mean, your eyes, it's also an open mucosa, right? I mean, you know, your eyes are open. And if you have big eyes like me, it's even worse. <laughs> but it, it's, it's, it's open and it's, it's a point of infection. When somebody speaks to you, my eyes are open, these droplets from the, from the speaker's mouth, are going into my eyes. So yes, I'm having my mask to protect myself, but I'm all, I must also protect my eyes. And that's why, you know, 
when I'm in hospital, I wear goggles. But actually, even when I'm out of hospital, I still wear my goggles. Or I wear my glasses. In fact, I always wear my glasses when I'm outside now. Even if I don't really need them, that is to protect myself because I still go to the grocery store. I still have to speak to the cashiers, to people, you know, so I'm protecting myself, I'm protecting, protecting my eyes. What I'm saying is that there's no point protecting your nose and mouth, but not protecting your, your eyes. You have to protect your eyes as well. So use a, an eye protector. Use a barrier between your eyes and the people who are in front of you. Of course, it's not closed like, like proper goggles, right? But at least it's, um, you know, you protect, from, from, from dire you protect it from direct contact, you know? You know, the, the spray when, when, people, when, when people speak to you. The invisible droplets that are coming to you, you know? Because you won't have the opportunity to always be six feet away or two meters away, roughly, you know? Sometimes, I mean, it, it, it might happen that you're a bit closer to people. Now, because we are under a lockdown, and you might not have glasses, yeah, there's two things you can do if you don't have goggles. So first of all, I talked in my, in my last video about cloth masks. And I'm glad to hear now that the CDC recommends cloth masks, so that's good, you know, because masks, proper masks, surgical masks, N95 masks, N99 masks, there's actually no masks, dust mask, whatever mask. There's, there's no masks around unless you live in a very organized country, you know, that thought about all this when it was first announced that there was a pandemic, you know, like uh, in, 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 in January. And, you know, if you're China, if you're Singapore, Thailand, all those Asian countries, if you're not in one of those countries, and you're in the rest of the world, chances are you don't have any masks right now. Because 85% of the world's masks are coming from China. And so it is what it is. I'm not going to go into a polemic about this. We all know that, you know, uh, there's been a failure to plan here from, uh, from many governments. And I think some people will have some questions to answer when this whole pandemic is over. But anyway, for now, so you have your cloth mask on, so you're wearing it. That's very good protection, right? So you sorted. Your airways are protected, your nose is protected, you're not going to inhale some of that virus, right? Your mouth is protected when you speak to people, you're not going to spread your coronavirus, right? So all is good, but your eyes are unprotected. Now, because there's no goggles available anywhere right now, if you wear glasses, wear your glasses. That's good. If you don't even have glasses, you could go into some... Uh, I think your best shot is to go to some gas station or some pharmacy, right? And, you know, get those cheap $10 glasses that you see usually at pharmacies there, you know, with normal lenses, actually. They're not, they're not medical lenses, you know, just for the sake of protecting yourself. These are real medical glasses, prescription glasses, prescription lenses. I'm just saying, if you're blessed not to have to wear glasses, then you can get some cheap glasses at the pharmacy or gas station there and then wear them. That will protect you, right? It's part of PPE, personal protective. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. It's part of PPE personal protective equipment. If you don't have glasses, you can't find any glasses anywhere to protect your eyes, something else you could do is to wear sunglasses. <laughs> the 
This is good. I mean, those sunglasses are big, actually. You know, they're almost like goggles. They really offer good protection there. It's quite okay. So you can wear this and you can wear your mask. Anything helps. Anything helps at this stage, you know. Be reasonable in your look. A mask and sunglasses like that, that's okay. But you don't want to scare people, right? So, I mean, look, I, I don't think, I don't know. I mean, yes, of course, a cloth mask is excellent protection, right? But look at this. Do you really want to go in a grocery store wearing your sunglasses and your mask like that? Your bandana? It might be a little bit intimidating, right? I mean, imagine somebody walks in like that. I mean, you know, so, so be a little bit reasonable. You know, I mean, uh, Look, if you're going to walk into a pharmacy, right, maybe you should, as you walk in, I don't know, maybe you should just take the sunglasses off, make, uh, make some eye contact, you know, and, 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 and then wear the sunglasses. You know, just, just to let people know that all is good here, right? Anyway, that's my tip for the day. Protect your eyes as well. You know, goggles are, are, are good, actually. You know, if you're lucky enough to have a face mask that covers your mouth and your eyes, that's even better. Of course, you don't want to show up in an hazmat suit because you're just going to put people in a panic there, you know? So, yeah, I hope this helps. Powering through this lockdown. I'm actually on lockdown, but I'm also quarantined. So that's just perfect. <laughs> Cheers.